guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel i am cara j here we get into everything beauty fashion lifestyle related with a couple of hauls here and there so if that's something you're interested in don't forget to subscribe down below girl turn on your post notification bell that way you don't miss an upload from me okay so in today's video i'm going to be doing a what's on my iphone this video is highly requested on my channel so we're going to go ahead and get into that. But before we do, I do want to thank Caseify for sending over some phone cases and also partnering with me on today's video. If you haven't heard of Caseify, first off, what are you doing? Caseify is a tech accessory brand known for their protective yet unique phone cases and iconic collaborations with artists around the world. Not to mention, Caseify has over 2,000 plus prints to choose from with the option to customize your very own personalized case. Caseify cases are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials, which we love for the planet, of course. And with Caseify cases, you'll never have to worry about keeping your phone protected. Their cases are military-grade standard protection without the bulkiness and are drop-tested up to 6.6 .6 feet. They also provide all-around device protection with their raised edges and camera rings. One of Caseify's most requested case is the clear case, which is made of world-class materials with UV Defender technology, used to prevent yellowing, allowing your clear case to have long-lasting clarity. So if you want to shop any of these phone cases and be 20 with me, don't forget to go to caseify.com slash slaywithcarj or use code 15 slay with car j to get 15% off your tech accessories today. And again, I want to thank Caseify for sending over these phone cases. Okay, you guys. So these are all the phone cases that Caseify sent over. And they also sent a phone charm. You could just put it like, let me show you guys. You could just put it on the side of your phone. Then you can hold your phone on your wrist or in your hand like this. It just makes it easier for you to hold your phone. So I thought that was really cute. And on my phone now, I have a personalized case. It has my name on it here. It's also MagSafe compatible and it has the tactile buttons, which makes it easier to press your buttons like that. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's, it's much more easier. It's not sticky or anything like that. So I love that. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into what is on my phone. Um, I'm going to run through this pretty quickly because I do not have a lot of things on my phone. I like it to be minimal as possible, so I don't have a lot of apps or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put the screen up right here so that you guys can see what I'm looking at. Let me go ahead and screen record my screen real fast. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I have on my phone at the top is um, the date. And then it says Winter Vibes, which I put that up there using the Widgetsmith app. And then I have the time and I also have a motivational quote. It says, keep your head to the sky. Let your doubts stay behind you. And that changes, but it is through this app called Motivation. And then I have the weather, which is 39 degrees here in Colorado. Um, I have Instagram on here, and I'll show you guys later how I got Instagram on my home screen. I forgot to go ahead and put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so give me one second. So I don't get any calls or text messages while I'm recording. Okay, so this page right here, this page, I don't know what it's really called. I guess it's like the notification center or the search center, but they took the search bar off. So I don't know what this is called, but at the top, I have a Widgetsmith app and it has just the full calendar because I definitely need the calendar multiple times on my phone because I'm the type of person that will be like, what's today? What's today? A million times. So that's convenient to have and then i have the grocery a grocery list which is this is the to do app and i always need to have like a list because i'm the type of person who likes to write things down um, when i go to the store i will forget if i don't write it down so i have it right here on my phone this is my main page and my main page is 
usually just one page because I like I said I don't like clutter I like it to be as minimal as possible I feel like there's no point of me having multiple pages scrolling through because I will literally not use those apps so I just like having the one page and then when I scroll over I have the app library and then I can just go ahead and search whatever app that I'm looking for that's not on my home screen if that makes sense um so the first app is contacts you know which comes with the phone and then i have app store photos and then pinterest i love pinterest you guys um that's where i go and get like my background and um just any kind of like inspo pictures or whatever it is this is my pinterest if you guys want to go ahead and follow me it's just cara j so yeah that's pinterest Next, I have this widget pod, and that is actually connected to my Spotify. It just shows whatever music that I'm playing, but I do like this one because it is more customizable than just putting like um, Spotify widget on my home screen. This is more customizable. You can change the background. You can change the font. So I really love that, and I would recommend it. It's called widget pod. The next thing I have is, it's a transparent widget, so it just matches my background, but it's from the app called Top Widget, and it just shows the time and the date, and I really like that, so I have that there, and then the next thing I have is Widget Smith. Um, it, I put a quote there, but I don't know if I like that right there. I think I might change it eventually because it's I don't know if it blends too much in with the black background. Maybe I need to put something white there so it won't blend in as much. But the quote says, be soft, kind, and loving, but also take nobody. Shh. You know, I'm not going to say that on YouTube, but you know, you see it. So the next thing I have is calculator and settings. Snapchat, you guys, I really don't be on Snapchat. I feel like I used to get on snapchat a lot more now i'm just getting on snapchat less and less so i'm not really going to get into my snapchat um but you guys could follow me if you want to i'll go ahead and leave it down below in the description box um i also have instagram and i love instagram this is my handle just card j underscore if you want to follow me is it underscore I think that's an underscore, but it's Cara J underscore. So if you want to follow me, this is my Instagram. We love Instagram. I'm trying to be on Instagram more this year, but it's kind of hard because I'm not like a picture person. Like I'm not taking pictures every day, but I do want to post like more reels and things like that on, on there. You can follow me if you want to. That's Instagram. And then that's all I have on my home screen, but I'll show you guys my background that I got from Pinterest. This is the background that I have. It just has a bunch of quotes and things like that. I forgot to tell you guys. It's the same um, background as the one I have on my lock screen. Um, very like inspiring, very cute. Love how moody it is. So yeah, that's the background. Also the lock screen. Then swiping over, I have the app library, and in the app library, I'm not going to go through the folders that say um, suggestions and recently added because they're all going to be down here after that. So this is the first folder, and we have Facebook. Facebook, you guys, I don't be on Facebook like that. I actually got my original Facebook permanently deleted. That's because I do not like Facebook. I feel like it messes with my peace and my mental health. It just be too much drama and mess on Facebook. So I deleted it. Um, now I opened up a, a new Facebook account just so that I can post furniture on Facebook Marketplace. And then of course you need the Messenger app to communicate with buyers. Okay, and then the next folder I have is the utility folder in here i have the app store calculator clock um color widgets color widgets helps you customize your home screen even more so you could put different clocks in different formats and stuff like that so i have a bunch of um 
apps like that to customize my home screen. So that's one of them I like to use. Then I have Find My. I have Launchify. Remember I said that I will show you guys an app that I have to help me put Instagram on my lock screen. Um, this is what Launchify does. I don't know what other app doesn't have its own widget for your lock screen, but I know Instagram doesn't. So when I click on it, I can just go right to Instagram. So love that. I do recommend that app. And then I have Measure, which, you know, it comes with the phone. I don't use it, so I'll, I'll probably eventually delete it. Then I have Simple Mobile. Simple Mobile is um, my son's phone service. And then I have my Verizon. I have Verizon, so that's my phone service. And I have Safari, Settings, Top Widget. Top Widget is another one that allows you to customize your home screen and your lock screen. Um, this one you can um, put animated. I think you can put animated things on your lock screen. Like little animals or whatever that move. So I think that's really cute, but I don't know how to get, get to that. Maybe this isn't the one. Oh, here it is. Like you put animated. See how these things are moving? They will move on your lock screen. So I think that's really cute. Next, I have Watch the Watch app, and that's for my Apple Watch. You guys, I don't really wear my Apple Watch as much as I used to. I just don't like having to charge all my devices. I just have too many devices, and my Apple Watch don't get as much love, so I don't use Apple Watch as much. Next um, app is Widgetable, and Widgetable is another one, a widget app that... You can do more of like the animation widgets on your lock screen so they have more options you can have like a pet that's cute i had that one on my iphone 13 so that's widgetable then i have xfinity xfinity is my internet service okay the next folder is the shopping and food folder in this one i have aliexpress of course we know what aliexpress is um and if you don't, it's just like an app you can buy things that ship from China. It does take like months to get your items, but yeah, I mean, I think I bought a phone case on there and it took like two, three months to get, but I do love that app. And then I have Amazon, Amazon, you guys, Amazon, I cannot stay off of Amazon. That is like one of the most used shopping apps ever, like. Anything you think of is on Amazon. So I have that. And then um, Poshmark. Poshmark has like affordable clothing. I don't know if you've ever heard of Shein, but it's kind of like Shein and they have affordable shoes, clothes, bags, whatever you're looking for. So that's Bushmark. And then I have Crumble Cookie. Um, I really don't go to Crumble Cookie that often. I think I've only been like two times and... Their cookies are like really, really sweet. So if you like sweet stuff, Cookie Crumbles is cool. I just have the app to see what cookies they have for the week because they switch out every week. Um, but you never know, I might go again. And then I have DH Gate. Same thing as like AliExpress. Um, they ship from China. Then I have DoorDash, eBay, Etsy, GoPuff. I used a lot. GoPuff was used a lot during quarantine me and my son love snacks so we were on GoPuff buying like all kind of snacks all kind of drinks and it's pretty much like a convenience store in an app so they have all of that then I have Grubhub which DoorDash and Grubhub I don't even know why I have it on here because I don't use it it's very expensive you might as well just go get your food yourself um, but I have Macari Macari is like Poshmark, which is the next app. You could just sell like used items and stuff like that. I have Shein, like I said, Shein. You can go on there and order all kinds of clothes, shoes, and they're really good quality. I've never had a problem with um Shein. I've only bought from Blushmark like once. Um, but Shein I bought multiple times things on there like phone cases and stuff like that. And I've never had a problem with the quality or anything, so I do like Shein. Then I have Starbucks. I really don't use the app, but I do go to Starbucks all the time. I should start using the app so that I can get free drinks, but I love Starbucks. 
Um, I'm trying to cut back this year on drinking so much or eating so much sugar. So not going to Starbucks or I'm trying not to go to Starbucks as much. Um, I have Target next. I do have the app for like points and stuff like that. Um, Cause I think right now I have like $5 off. So that comes in handy. I love Target. I'm literally at Target like once or twice a week, which is bad, but kind of have a shopping addition and Target is like my favorite physical store. Then I have Walmart. I love Walmart. It's cool. I do like shopping at Target better. Um, so the next folder is the entertainment folder. And in here I don't have much, but I have iTunes store. I have the movie tavern ticket app, which that's what I use when I go to the movie tavern to order like my food from my seat. Um, the last movie that I think I seen was Wakanda Forever, which is a while ago when it first came out. And I think I need to go to the movies very soon. I don't know really what's out, but I I love the movies and I love going to the movie tavern the most out of all of like theaters. Next, I have Apple Music. Don't really use Apple Music. I prefer Spotify, but it's there. And then I have Pandora. I like Pandora when I'm in the car and I don't want to, um, I just want to listen to like new music and I just want it to constantly play and I don't have to search for music. So that's what Pandora is there for. I have SoundCloud. I use SoundCloud and Spotify the most to look for music. And then Widget Pie. Like I said, I told you guys about Widget Pie. Next, I have YouTube, of course love youtube i watch youtube more than i watch tv youtube is like my streaming service i watch netflix a little bit but i definitely don't have netflix on my phone i have it on my ipad but that's why i have it on youtube because if i'm watching something on my phone it's youtube not like netflix or hulu so you get the point but i love um youtube the next folder is photo and video this has camera the eraser app the eraser app just like erases the your background of like a picture um sometimes i use that for my thumbnails if i'm editing on my phone um then i have facetune i don't use facetune as much as i used to so i could probably delete that app um, but I have it there just in case I need to use it. Then I have iMovie. That's where I edit all my videos on is iMovie. And then the next app is Layout. Layout is an app to do like collages on Instagram. And then I have Fonto. Fonto, mm, I think I used to use it when I was um, editing on my phone. I don't use it as much anymore because I use Canva which I don't have the Canva app. I use Canva on my desktop computer, my Mac, Mac computer. And then I have photos, uh, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy just tells you all of your analytics on your videos. So you see that it shows you your subscribers and then all your views, your likes, your dislikes. So yeah, that's pretty cool to have. Then I have Voxer. Voxer is what I use to um, add text to like my reels on Instagram and stuff like that. I love Voxer just pretty much for the text that they have on there. And next I have YouTube Studio, which is also the same thing as like TubeBuddy, but it's actually the YouTube owned app, um, I guess you could say. And it shows you your analytics. So that's that. Definitely need that. The next photo is the next photo. The next folder is the productivity and finance folder. In here I have Alibaba, which I don't know why they put Alibaba in here and then AliExpress in the shopping folder. This should be in the shopping folder, but I do have Alibaba. I have um oh, if you don't know what Alibaba is, it's the same thing as AliExpress. You can buy things from China. It does take a while, but I never had a problem. I always get my stuff. It just takes like two or three months. Um, then I have calendar, cash app, you know, you know, cash app. And then I have Chime, which Chime is a mobile banking app. I have Dawn. Girl, I don't know what Dawn is. I think you can put, um, oh, you could put like your schedule in, like reminders, I guess. I got recommended that app, so I really haven't 
used it. I just download it. I do that a lot, by the way. I download apps that I've heard about and I just don't use them. But I have the um, app Habit and that just tracks your habits, like how much water you drink and stuff like that. I have um, Indeed Jobs. Girl, you never know. I need like two, three jobs. I'll go on there and look for a job. <laughs> and then I have Mail. Mail app has all my emails connected to it. I think I have like three or four emails connected to it. And then I have Mineralist. Um, I don't know what that app is. Oh, I think it's a, like the to do the to do list app. You could just put like list and then check them off as you go. Um, then I have the money card app for Walmart. I have notes, a PayPal. No, we all know what PayPal is. And then I have photo widgets, which is another app to customize your home screen. You can um, download packs and then packs of icons, I guess, and then they'll all automatically go on your home screen. So that's cute. Like, here we go, like icon packs. That's what it is. So yeah, you would be able to just like say I wanted all of these. I would save it and then it would save to my home screen. Then I have reminders. Don't use that app. It comes with the phone. Don't really use it. I probably can delete that one as well. So yeah, that's one of the apps that needs to go. I don't really use reminders. Then I have shortcuts. Um, you know, it comes with the phone. It helps you put like, let's see, like icons like I have here with just like one solid color you could put all kind of things like say if i wanted like a picture of my kids on, on my icon shortcuts is how you would do it um let's see what else and then the to-do list app that's the app that i was telling you guys about that's on my notification center and i just love that one i recommend using that if you like to make lists then I have the wallet app and Widget Smith. Widget Smith is another app you could customize everything on your phone. Then I have others folder. I don't know why it has Pinterest there again, but that's that. And then I have the weather app. I love to know what the weather is every day. The last couple of days, um, it's been pretty cool. Like the weather's been in like the 30s, but before that, it was negative eight, so it'd be cold. You know, I live in Colorado, the weather be bipolar. One day it's cool, the next day it's freezing. You can't even go outside without getting frostbite. Yeah, that's Colorado for you. If you live in Colorado, you know. <laughs> then I have She Reads Truth app. I love this app. This has the Bible on it, and that's what I use it for. It's very aesthetic too. I like how it's just black and white and just very simple text. So, yeah, that's She Reads Truth. I recommend that app. The next app is, I guess this one comes with the phone as well, is to translate in different languages. And then I have in the travel folder, uh, Waze. Waze I used to use a lot, but I don't use Waze anymore because I don't like the fact that it doesn't talk to you. I'd rather just sit my phone down and allow it to talk to me while I'm trying to go where I need to go. Um, so that's why I use Google Maps now, which is the next app. Uh, but I do have Waze on here just in case I ever want to use it. Sometimes it even tells you like when there's accidents or when there's police ahead or whatever. So like I, like I said, I'll go on Waze every now and then just for that. Um, I have Frontier, which girl, Frontier counter days. I don't think I'm going to be flying with Frontier ever again because literally just recently in December they were delaying hella flights canceling hella flights and people had to sit in the airport including me for hours so I'm very upset with Frontier at the moment but I do have that app for when I get to um, see my tickets to get on the plane um, yeah, so I have also in the travel folder Turo and Lyft. I prefer Lyft when I'm traveling. And then Turo just allows you to rent other people's cars, like for however long you need a car when you're like out of town. So I use Turo sometimes. And then this is the last folder. So this is health and fitness. 
And in this folder is the fitness app, which comes with the phone, the health app, which also comes with the phone. Then I have life. Well, I don't know if I want to get into it because I don't think I updated it yet, really. But it's very accurate. Life is a period tracker app. And it's very accurate. That's why I like to use this app. I've been using this app for years, years. So it's very accurate for me. Maybe it'll take some time if you download it um, and start using it. Maybe it'll take some time, you know, to get acclimated to your cycle. But eventually it's going to be pretty accurate. So love that life. And then I have Moonlight. Moonlight I just recently downloaded and it just tracks your mood and then it just gives you like some helpful tips and motivation motivational quotes to um you know just get you in a better mood if you're like down or whatever so i like that app then i have motivation which that is another motivational quote type of app and that's the one that i have on my lock screen then i have planet fitness and that's the preferred gym that I like to go to, but I haven't been in a while. Um, I know like January and February, those gyms be packed out and I don't like going to the gym with a bunch of people. So I'm kind of waiting for it to die down because we all know, you know, after January, February, people just like stop going to the gym. But like I said, my preferred gym. Then I have um, podcasts. Podcasts I haven't gone on. But I know a lot of like YouTubers and stuff that I watch have podcasts. So eventually I'll probably go on there and listen to some podcasts. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is pretty much all I have on my phone. Like I said, not too many apps. Your girl don't like a bunch of clutter and all that on her phone. But if you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.